Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand longest remaining time first (LRTF) scheduling algorithm. The detailed explanation about longest job first has already been made in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, the longest remaining time. first in short it is called as lrtf so this is same as that of longest job first but the only difference is it is a preemptive algorithm it means for every one unit of time so the processes will get preempted the processes will get switched okay so that that is how this uh, lrtf will work so let's try to understand this concept of lrtf uh, uh, lrtf by using this uh, uh, example so we are using this example from uh, in our all uh, uh, in all our previous examples so we will use the same example here also so this is uh, the gantt chart so we are going to start from 0th time uh, and uh, the first process at the 0th arrival time is uh, we are having only process p1 uh, p1 is there so we are going to take that p1 we don't have any options uh, to choose uh, 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 the processes so this one will be taken and it will be there uh, in the running state for one unit of time because the time quantum we have assumed that it has a one unit amount of time okay so we assumed the time quantum as one unit amount of time so for every one unit amount of time the processes will be shifted from ready state to the uh, sorry running state to the ready state and uh, ready state process will be shifted to the running state okay so now uh, one unit has been uh, uh one uh, unit amount of time the burst time has been decreased to one unit now by this time uh, at the one unit so we are having these two processes by the arrival time we are having these two processes p1 and p2 so among these two we have a choice which one has to be picked so this is how the this is what the lrtf is which one has to be picked is the longest remaining time so among these two the longest remaining time is this one process p2 is having the longest remaining time so p2 will be taken and it will get executed for one quantum amount of time and this will get reduced to 4 so by this time by this time we are having these three process so among these three process again one four one which one has to be chosen so it has to be uh, this process p2 because the longest remaining time is uh, process p2 so p2 is again chosen and it is going to be uh, three okay and uh, uh, by this time we are having uh, these two these four process among these two these two process is having the same amount of remaining time so whenever there is same burst time is available for two process then we have to go for the shortest process number sorry uh, smallest process number the smallest process number is uh, this one so p2 will be uh, taken so it is going to be p2 and it is going to be there for uh, uh, this one one unit amount of time and this one is going to be 3 okay so by this time uh, at this time of 4 uh, units of time we are in the arrival time we are having only only these four process so the this the arrival time of this process is 5 but here the time uh, is only 4 units of time okay so uh, again among these four process we have to choose one so we are going to choose this process p4 because the longest remaining time is for process p4 okay and again so by this time all the processes has arrived so all the process has arrived so among these three and uh, this one is three so among all this process these three is having the same unit of uh, same amount of uh, remaining time uh, longest remaining time so we are going to choose the uh, process with a uh, small number which is 2 so process p2 will get executed and uh, in the shortest job shortest remaining job first sorry shortest shortest remaining time first algorithm so we have seen that once all the algorithms all the processes has uh, processes has arrived then the the remaining processes will get executed continuously so the uh, algorithm will become sjf we have already discussed but it is not the case of longest remaining time first because we have to choose the longest remaining time first so among these three all of them are having the same time so we are going to choose one of them so if it get reduced then the longest remaining time is this one 
whereas in the shortest remaining time so that is the only process which has the shortest remaining time so if once it got reduced to 2 so in the shortest remaining uh, time first this is the process which will have the uh, uh, which will have the shortest remaining job uh, remaining time uh, for uh, uh, until it gets completed so that is the reason why we have taken that process and and the shortest remaining uh, time first will now uh, at that point of time will act as a shortest job first we have discussed about this point but it is not the case with the longest remaining time first okay so this point is very important to understand so treat, uh, please try to understand this concept so p2 is there so it will be uh, it will get reduced to 2 so among now among these uh, three uh, the process p4 will get selected process uh, p4 will get selected and this is going to have uh, seven it is going to take uh, uh, one unit of time will get incremented okay so this one is going to be two and this one will get selected process p5 process p5 will get selected eight so among these three again there is a tie so p2 will get selected uh, p2 will get selected next p4 will get selected next p4 will get selected so i am going bit faster hope you got the point okay next uh, p2 p4 9 10 and next is uh, this is p4 next is p5 okay 11 and now all the process are one so again there is a tie so now again p2 sorry here p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 all of them are having the same amount of time same amount of remaining job first remaining time so p1 will get selected so from here p1 and it is done so p1 is done 0 and next p2 which is 13 next is p3 which is 14 and next uh, p4 15 okay and next is uh, p5 which is 16 okay so now uh, at the end uh, uh, at the 16th unit of time so all the processes are done with uh, by uh, with its execution so uh, this is how the gantt chart will get generated okay so this is how the longest remaining job first remaining time first will get executed so let's try to uh, draw the completion time and all those values uh, by using this uh, gantt chart so the completion time for process p1 is so here here it is uh, 12 okay and the completion time for process p2 is 13 process p3 is 14 and process p5 p4 is 15 and process p6 is 16 okay so is it right 12 13 14 15 and 16 12 13 14 15 and 16 now what about the turnaround time so turnaround time is completion time minus arrival time 12 minus 0 turnaround time is 0 uh, sorry 12 uh, 12 minus 13 again it is 12 14 minus uh, 2 this is also going to be 12 and uh, 15 minus uh, 3 again this is going to be 12 16 minus 5 uh, 16 minus 5 means it is uh, 11 okay now what about the waiting time waiting time is turnaround time minus burst time so turnaround time 12 12 minus uh, burst time is 0 so the waiting time is uh, so the waiting time is 12 okay and this one 12 minus burst time is 5 12 minus 5 means it is uh, 7 okay so 12 minus 1 the waiting time is 11 12 minus uh, 4 it is 8 11 minus 3 11 minus 3 means it is again 8 okay so these are all the completion time turnaround time and waiting time for this uh, example okay so this is all about longest remaining time first hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching